guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing incredibly well. Today's video, as you probably guessed from the title, is products I hate from brands I love. This video is so sad for me to do because all the brands I'm about to speak about are brands that I absolutely love, I support, they are cruelty free. The rest of their products, in my opinion, are 100% amazing. These products just didn't work for me. As a little disclaimer, it doesn't mean that these products aren't gonna work for you, they just didn't work for me. Um, I know that like makeup is such a subjective thing, like a foundation that I hate, for example, somebody else will rave about. That's just makeup. We've all got different skin, we've all got different eye shapes, we've all got different bodies, and like a product that works really well for me may not work for you, and vice versa. So these just products that didn't work for me, in case you guys are interested in that. And if you have a face or skin, anything like mine, they may not work for you either. So I think these videos are pretty helpful. So let's just get into it, shall we? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I love these brands so much. Ah. Okay guys, I'm just gonna have to start with this because this was such a letdown for me and I'm still so upset about it. This is the Tarte Toasted Palette. I received this in PR and when I opened it up, I was so flippin' excited because I'm obsessed with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Palette. That is like my go-to palette. I flippin' love that palette, so good. So when I got this in the mail, I was like, oh my god, yes. Like, look at the colors inside it. Do they just not look so delectable? Oh my god, they're so beautiful when you look at it that way. I was like, this is gonna be my new palette of dreams. This is so so beautiful but then I tried it on my eyes and it all turned shit <laughs> basically these eyeshadows just do not stick I've tried it with so many bases I've tried it with like my foundation base which is what I would usually use on my eyelids I've tried it with eye primers I've tried it um, with setting my base in place with powder I've tried it with not setting the base in place with powder and just leaving it wet no matter what I do I cannot get these eyeshadows to work for me and I don't know why they just they go all patchy, they don't stick, the pigment just doesn't come through. I can literally see when I'm blending the eyeshadow like coming off my eye and just going out into the atmosphere. And it's so sad because this just looks so good, but it's just not. Oh, one thing that I do like about it, it smells like sugar. It smells like this little doll that I had when I was a little kid. I cannot for life me remember what they were called, but they were these little cupcake dolls, right? And I remember you lift their skirt up. So you like bare their little bums and you sniff their bums and they smell like cupcakes. That was the whole point of these dolls. And I swear that they were children's toys. If anybody else had that doll, please tell me down below because I feel a bit like a, like a flipping weirdo right now. But yeah, it smells like that little cupcake doll's bum. So I was so sad about that palette. I'm still going to keep trying it to be honest because I just want it to work so badly. You know, when you have a product that clearly doesn't work for you, but you just keep on persevering and you keep on trying. You're like, I will make you work. That's how I feel about this palette. If you guys have this palette and it works for you, please tell me what you do down below because uh, it's Tarte and I love Tarte. All right guys, moving on to another brand that I absolutely love and I'm so sad that this did not work for me. <laughs> this is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I cannot express how much I like admire Kat Von D. She is just such a hot woman. She's cruelty free, pretty sure she's vegan. She's a tattoo artist, like, I mean, that's cool. And she's just different. I like different people and she's different. And I just like her a lot. I love her work ethic. I love everything she's achieved in her life. I think she's awesome. And I absolutely love, and you guys will probably know this, I love her Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. That used to be my absolute go-to. I don't reach for it very much anymore. I don't know why. I think I've just got so many new palettes in my collection now that I kind of just, I don't know, I just moved on from that. But anyway, I still love it. Um, but this foundation, when I got it, I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome because I love Kat Von D, love her products. And this foundation was meant to be full coverage, 24-hour wear, transfer-resistant, matte finish, fragrance-free, oil-free, and cruelty-free. I was like, oh my God, like, what more could you ask for in a foundation? This foundation is awful. It's horrible. <laughs> it's so thick on my skin. It looks like I've painted, like, flipping paint on my face. Like it legit looks like I've gotten a paint made for the wall and just put it on my face. My pores look huge. The texture on my skin is emphasized. The coverage is good. I'll give it that. But it goes so oily so quickly. It doesn't set matte on my face for some weird reason. Like it's not a matte, found matte foundation on me. And the packaging as well. I mean, it's cool to look at, but it's just annoying. Like it's got this stupid little black thing here, which, ugh, see what I mean? It's just annoying. Like, okay. I never use this and still look how messy that is. This is the most annoying packaging. You have to put that back on to stop the foundation like spurting out everywhere. And I just feel like I've almost lost this so many times and luckily I keep finding it. Um, and the packaging itself is just big. I don't really like big bulky packaging because I travel a lot and this thing is just, 
It takes up way too much space in my makeup bag. But anyway, I would be willing to look past that like I do with the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation. That has bulky packaging too, but I look past it because I love the foundation. But this is just, the foundation just does not work for me. And I do not think that I've heard a lot of people say good things about this foundation either. So like, if you have this, again, please tell me if it works for you because it doesn't work for me. The next product, um, oh jeez. Okay, the next two products are both from Urban Decay, and this kills me to say because if I had to say one brand as my favorite makeup brand in the entire world, it would either be Sigma or Urban Decay. I love Urban Decay. I love their products. I love their packaging. I love their ethos. I love how edgy they are. I think they're flipping awesome. But these two products here, they're not my friend. This is the new concealer I got. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. And I thought when I got this, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna slather this all over my face because like I said, I love the matching foundation, the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I love it, it's great. When I got this, I was like, this is gonna be like that, but on a whole new level of like coverage and just brilliantness. It's, 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 it's not good. First of all, I don't really like this method of application, but then that's just me being picky. But just the, I mean, I've tried this a few times. To be honest, I probably will try it a few more times in the future again, just to see, can I make it work for me? Because I've probably tried it three times now and it's destroyed my makeup. It's lifted off the foundation that I've had underneath. It's looked really cakey on my skin. It's emphasized texture. The coverage is nothing special. Like I prefer the Tarte Shape Tape to this, to be honest. And it's just like, I don't know, it was just very meh, like I just felt like it was a really let down kind of product. I was expecting so much from it and I just was not impressed. I really, I was like disimpressed, unimpressed, that's the word, I was unimpressed. I will try it again because I'm like, I mean I don't want to give up on it that easily, but I'm gonna have to try it when I'm just at home and not intending to go out because there's nothing worse than spending ages on your makeup and then putting on one product and having it like you know, take off your foundation or ruin everything and then you gotta start from scratch. It's infuriating. So I'm gonna try this probably when I'm just at home mucking around with makeup and see, can I get this little baby to work for me? Just realized I took this one out and said this one, this one, I mean, I don't really use all that often. This is the one I meant to say didn't work for me. So this is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. I was very disappointed by this product. As you guys will probably know, I've got exceptionally oily skin. Like my skin is so oily. I could wear the most mattifying foundation in the world and five minutes later, I'm gonna be an oil slick. Like you could scrape the oil off my skin. It's that, it's that bad. So when I got this, I was like, oh my God, this is what I've been waiting for. This is what I need. Something that I can just spray on my face that's not powder, that's gonna control the oil, make me look more matte and just kind of work miracles on my face. I mean, it says, this is your weightless, powerful ally against oil and shine. High-tech ingredients control oil, deflect surface shine, and help skin stay looking matte. D Slick Mist helps keep foundation, shadow, and blush from sliding and fading with fewer touch-ups needed. Goodbye, shine. Hello, vibrant, long-lasting makeup. I mean, that reads like a miracle worker, doesn't it? When I saw that, I was like, oh my god, this, this is what I've been looking for but it actually does the opposite on me. It makes me oily. Can you believe that? When I spray this on, it's like I just sprayed oil on my skin. I'll probably, I'll show you at the end of the video because I don't want to, I'll show you now, all right. So I've powdered my face. I'm currently looking about as matte as I ever look. I don't want to destroy this makeup. Oh, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Like, I'm, oh. can you guys even see that on camera? I'm immediately oily, like it's literally left wet wet oil looking stuff all over my face and now I'm going to need to go in and powder it so it just completely does the opposite of what it's supposed to do on me. Do you guys have this? Does it work for you? Tell me down below because I am still so disappointed by this product. I'm gonna have to powder now. And yes guys I have tried this like I have got this a couple of years ago now I think like two or three years ago um, and I was using it so much then I was like determined to make it work for me and it just never did. Moving along. The next product, I, this one I'll be honest, I really do hate this product. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit in the color Light. This is just the worst contour kit I've ever tried. Anastasia Beverly Hills has so many beautiful products. Her eyeshadows are amazing. The liquid lipsticks, I mean, the colors are nice. They're very drying on my lips, but I can overlook that. Um, her eyebrow products are decent. Her powder contours, I love. I think they're epic. I really, really like them. But this just was an absolute fail for me. I've had this for so long and you can see I've hardly used any of it just because it's so bad for me. It's so hard to blend out. 
The colors are just way too dark for me, especially this is meant to be the light kit. And the contour shades are just way, way, way too dark for me. I tried, I really briefly tried these like highlighting shades at the top and they were so chalky and drying on my skin. Like my face just looked so cakey and really chalky. But they just, they just don't blend. I can get it to work a little bit if I mix an oil in with it. But I mean, you shouldn't have to do that. You really shouldn't have to work to make a product work for you in my opinion especially when it's not a cheap product like this was not a cheap palette i can't remember exactly how much i paid for it but i'll link i mean i'll put it here for you guys i just feel like when you pay a lot of money for a product it should work you shouldn't have to like mix it with oil or do anything like that so i was so disappointed by that product i keep it in my collection like i don't give it away or anything because well number one i know that none of my friends because like none of my friends feel the same way about makeup as i do <laughs> so none of my friends will be able to have that work for them i'm pretty certain of it if i can't and also because i just keep it there thinking one day one day i might find the answer and one day this may work for me but this day has not come yet Okay, the next product is from It Cosmetics, and you guys will probably know I love It Cosmetics. I love so many of their products, but this little guy, this here, just does not work for me. And you know what else doesn't work for me that everybody else raves about? The It Cosmetics CC Cream. I hate that stuff. My mom, I gave mine to my mom, so I don't have it here to show you. My mom loved it. She absolutely loved it. This here is the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. And I hate it. <laughs> it creases. Like, the moment I put it on, before I've had a chance to even set it in place, it creases. It looks so thick under my eyes. It looks so oily. It's like a very strange texture, too. It's almost like a... You know, like a sticky kind of um, lip gloss, that kind of texture, it's kind of like that. So I find it really hard to blend out as well. And God forbid if I've got any foundation on underneath it, well, that's coming off. So I really, really don't like this product. Um, and again, I haven't even given it away to anyone I know because I just know that they're not going to like it either. So I just keep it in my jaw, hoping that one day I'll find a use for it. <laughs> the next product is from Charlotte Tilbury. And this breaks my heart to say because I flip and love Charlotte Tilbury. I think her products are very 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 good but this was this is not good for me this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder with a name like that micro powder i would expect it to be like a really finely milled like translucent ish like almost invisible setting powder but this is not any of those things this is so thick so cakey so chalky on my face um, and I love powder. I, I smother my face in powder because I'm so oily, but this is one of the few powders that makes my face look worse after putting it on than it did before. Um, I love everything else about this. Well, what else is there to love about it? I mean, I love the packaging. The packaging is so pretty. Charlotte Tilbury has the best packaging in my opinion. Um, and I like, oh, it's just so pretty. I was like, please, please work for me. But I've tried this so many times now. Like I've used it in tutorials. I just keep using it. Um, but it just, it doesn't work for me very well at all like the moment I put it on my face my face looks so thick and cakey and like dry um so yeah that was a very big disappointment for me there's two more products to go guys that disappointed me this one here is from Marc Jacobs again I love Marc Jacobs I love that like in the world of you know designer brands that test on animals and destroy the world Marc Jacobs is cruelty free I appreciate that so much and his products are usually so beautiful but this mascara was just an absolute meh. It was such a meh. Oh, and you know what the worst thing about it was? I got sent loads of these when I was in Australia when this first came out. I got sent so many of these in PR. And it was such a waste because I don't like the mascara. So I just gave them away. I kept this one thinking, I will find a way to make this work. But I haven't. It's just, I mean, it doesn't lengthen my eyelashes. It doesn't thicken them. It makes them black, but it makes them look really short and kind of stumpy. Which, I mean, I don't really apply mascara for that effect. <laughs> Um, so I was really disappointed by this mascara. This is the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. So yeah, that was like, oh, I mean, it's definitely not a mascara that I would ever choose to wear by choice. And then the last product is this here. This is the Too Faced Peach Frost Melting Powder Highlight. I've tried to make this work. I really have. Um, I got this in PR as well with a bunch of the blushes from this collection. And let me tell you guys, the blushes from this collection are so beautiful. They just melt into the skin. They're heavenly. They smell like peaches. The colors are gorgeous and the packaging looks like Polly Pocket. What more could you want? But this highlight, I was like, what exactly is the point of this? It's not a cream, it's not a powder, it's just like a very kind of moist 
powder or dry cream. <laughs> so it's, I mean, the worst of both worlds. And it's not even, I mean, I don't even find it particularly highlighting. That's what it looks like in its little, um, like, pan there. And then on my finger, that's what it looks like. And then when I swatch it, it's just so meh. Like, there's absolutely nothing special about it. It's not a blinding highlight. It's just, it's kind of a pointless highlight. And when I put it on my face, it's just, it's, I mean, I wouldn't pay for it, put it that way. Which is such a shame because when I saw this amongst the blushes that I got, I was like, oh my god, the blush is beautiful. This is going to be amazing. And it just isn't. So there we go, guys. That was a little run through of the products that kind of really disappointed me from brands that I love. I have a question for you guys. Do you want me to show you these products in action? Do you want me to film like a um, raw beauty, Christie style, full face of products that I hate video? By the way, she's awesome. I really like her. Do you guys want me to film a video like that and show you exactly what I mean so that you can kind of see these products in action and see what I'm trying to explain to you guys? If you want to see that, let me know down below and give this video a thumbs up. If this video gets to 3,000 thumbs up I'll film the products I hate all over my face video here's two other videos that I've done that you guys might enjoy and if you're not already subscribed to my channel but you want to be you can click my face here that'll subscribe you to my channel but make sure that you click the alarm bell button underneath this video that little tiny little guy down there because otherwise you won't be told um, when I upload new videos and you will not know that I've uploaded a video thank you guys so much for watching I love you and I'll see you in my next video Bye.